Hello and welcome back to my channel. Glory to Jesus and not to Mary and Joseph. Those who visit the chapel of Our Lady of Lourdes Shrine in the city of Alta Gracia in, Cord in Cordoba province, Argentina, witness a phenomenon that has no explanation. In a niche that is part of the altar piece above the altar, an image of the Virgin Mary can be seen, although without a doubt the space is empty, there is nothing there. According to the Argentine news agency, what is seen is not a flat image, but rather a relief, a three-dimensional image with folds in the garment. It is also not a psychological illusion resulting from the exaggeration, exaggerated devotion of some pilgrims. Everyone, believers or not, sees it. Additionally, the image appears in photos taken there. A curious fact is that the image is clearly seen from the front door of the church and then fades as one slowly approaches the altar. Sources from Our Lady of Low Shrine in Alta Gracia told ACI Prensa, CNA Spanish language news partner, that although there is no specific statement from the Archdiocese of Cordoba where the shrine is located, Everything is still the same. The image can be seen just as and on the first day or more, a little more. As for the image in the niche, everything remains the same and intact, the statement said. Since it was built at the beginning of the 20th century, the shrine has been an important pilgrimage site. In 2023, about 30,000 pilgrims came from the city of Cordoba, 20 miles away. In the Mass he offered there last year on February 11th for the World Day of the Sick, Cardinal Angel Sixto Rossi, the Archbishop of Cordoba, pointed out that the experience of weakness and illness are part of our path. They don't exclude us from the people of God, but they take us to the center of the attention of the Lord, who is Father, and does not want to lose any of his children along the way. Masses were held this year on February 10th and February 11th for the faithful who participated in the 47th pilgrimage to the Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes. A midnight mass was celebrated February 11th and a sunrise rosary was prayed at 5.30 a.m., followed by a mass at 6 a.m. for the pilgrims, 9 a.m. for the communities and movements, 10, 11 a.m. for families, and 6 p.m. for the sick. The 6 p.m. Eucharistic was celebrated by Horacio Alvarez, an auxiliary bishop of Cordoba. Rossi did not celebrate this mass because he was in Rome to attend the canonization of Mama Antola, the first female saint of Argentina. At 7 p.m., the hours of procession and confessions were held all day. The Chapel of the Virgin of Alta Crescia is located on the large property where in 1916 a replica was dedicated to the Massabiella Grotto in Lourdes, France, where the Virgin appeared in 1858 to St. Benedict Suborius. In 1922, a commission was formed to build a chapel near the grotto. The first stone was laid in 1924 and 27. The Bishop of Cordoba blessed the chapel. For many years, there was a statue of Our Lady of Lourdes of Cordoba in the center of the church's altarpiece. In mid-2011, it was removed from its niche or base to be restored and is currently located at the front, at the foot of the niche that was left empty. One day, one of the priests in charge of the shrine was going to close the chapel, and from the main door, he saw an image that looked like it was made of plaster in the empty space. He approached several times, and each time he did so, he noticed that the image he saw from the certain distance faded. The truth was that there was actually no image, but he saw it. Because of the phenomenon visible to anyone, the discussed Carmelite friars of the shrine issued a statement in 2011 noting that the manifestation of the image of the Most Holy Virgin Mary has no explanation at the moment. It must be interpreted by the people of God as a sign to increase and deepen the Christian faith and to inspire in the hearts of men conversion to the love of God and their participation in the life of the church, they said. The only message of the Virgin is none other than that which she has manifested in her life among men and is recorded in Gospel as a divine revelation and kept in, in, 
in the deposits of the Catholic faith. This is a miracle. Looking at this image, you will see the statue of Our Lady of Lourdes today. But like they said, when you approach it, you will find nothing. <laughs> How can you explain this phenomenon? This is amazing. Simply amazing.